During World War II, German scientists worked to build huge rockets that could carry large amounts of explosives hundreds of miles into England. These weapons of destruction were called V-2 rockets and were capable of leveling an entire city block. After the war, the United States and the USSR rushed into Germany wanting to collect as many V-2 rockets as possible and as many German scientists as they could. The V-2 rocket became the beginning of the space programs for each of these superpower countries. The United States brought the captured rockets and parts to Arizona and began testing. Things didn't always work well. These were hard years for rocketry. People began imagining all kinds of ways to use rockets, such as the rocket bike, the rocket glider, or the famous rocket-on-your-back ice skater. In 1957, the USSR amazed the world when they successfully launched a man-made satellite into Earth orbit. This satellite, called Sputnik, had a small radio that sent out a signal that anyone could pick up around the world. A month later, they sent up Sputnik 2, which carried a dog to prove living things could survive in Earth orbit. In 1959, the U.S. launched two monkeys into space and then successfully recovered them. In that same year, the Russians sent two probes to photograph the moon. For the first years of the space race, the USSR was leading the way. 